And we have a lot of new information for you tonight about the deadly shooting in Perry County yesterday. A constable was trying to serve an eviction notice at an apartment near Duncannon. Resident Donald Meyer ended up shot and his daughter was killed. Kendra Nichols here now with the latest. Kendra. Well, Alicia, police say the constable drew his own weapon after a rifle was pointed to his chest. And police say that constable only fired one shot. The bullet wasn't meant for her, but it took her life. 12 year old Ciara Meyer killed in her home when a constable tried to serve an eviction notice to her father. This was something that just took place in a matter of seconds, so decisions had to be made very quickly when all this was going down. Police say Constable Clark Steele was serving an eviction notice to Ciara's father, Don Meyer, at Fouts Apartments around 10 o'clock Monday morning. The constable knocked on the door to 11D Rebecca Drive. Police say first the father opened and shut the door quickly, but then he opened the door again. The father had the gun, the rifle actually slung on his shoulder, kind of behind his, his leg a little bit. A couple words were exchanged, and at that point, the father went to level the rifle against the constable, and the constable was forced to take action. Throughout the whole incident, there was only one shot fired, and that was from the constable. And he actually struck the father in his upper left arm, and it shattered the bone in his left arm. Unfortunately, the round went through his arm and ended up striking the girl and killing her. Police say Ciara was standing behind her father when he confronted the constable with the rifle. So we did recover the weapon that the father had utilized in this uh, situation, and it was there was a round in the chamber, and there's actually a 30-round magazine inserted as well. Well, the family says Ciara was home sick from school when this happened. Her father, Don Meyer, is charged with aggravated assault, simple assault, terroristic threats, and recklessly endangering another person. As for the constable, Clark Steele, he is not facing any charges at this time. A source close to the family says Steele is very distraught over the situation. Dennis, back to you.